What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the SBZ, and today we're talking about the multi output plugin for OBS. Let's get into it. The multi output plugin for OBS is actually seamless. I just got off stream and tried this, and boy, am I impressed. But before we go into the specs of how it works, how you install it, and how we do all of that, let's go ahead and welcome you to the channel you could have been anywhere in the world but you decided to come here and we are thankful for that go ahead and hit that like and also subscribe because we talk not only about tech but we also do tutorials and we do some gameplay so we would love to see you inside of the gang gang we use the multi output to go live on youtube and on twitch so come on in Okay, so let's talk about how you get the multi output plugin itself. What you do is you go to google.com um, or any of your browser that you would want to use. Once you go to google.com, you go ahead and type in the multi output plugin. Once you get there, you got to go to the downloads page. Once you click the downloads page, you're going to see a lot of stuff that happens in, J in Japanese. But once you get to the assets, if you're on Mac OS, go ahead and download it for Mac OS, which I did. If you're on Windows, do for Windows, Linux, just do whatever your according um, operating system is. Once you have that installed, you're gonna wanna open OBS. What you're gonna need to do, of course I've already done this for Twitch, but I'm gonna walk through it with you. As you can see, my main source on OBS would actually be YouTube because I like to look at the chat integrations um, in OBS. I don't necessarily like looking at the chat integrations when it comes to um, opening up the browser because like like I've said multiple times, I don't like adding unnecessary CPU. So that's my stream source. But I also want to go live on Twitch. So this is what I did. What you would do is you would add a new target. And so first and foremost, you need to name what the target is. I'm going to name this uh, Twitch or Kick. I'm just going to say Twitch. Um, you can do the same thing for Kick. Next, you're going to need your URL. And this is what's important. What you need to do is you need to go back to Google and type. You need to type Twitch RTPM. And what that means is what is your connection. So what I ended up doing was clicking this and it tells you that your RTPM is going to be this right here. You can pause it and put it in there, but um, that's what the RTPM is going to be. So once you see it, it's RTPM colon slash slash live dot twitch dot TV slash app slash and leave it as is and that's what you're going to paste and that's what you're going to paste here and then you need to get your stream key from your twitch dashboard um for those of you who don't know how to do that i'm going to run through that with you once you go to twitch go to your creator dashboard what you're going to go to is your settings in the settings you're going to hit stream now here is your stream key you're going to press copy don't show your stream key to anyone. Press copy. Once you press copy, you can actually exit out of the dashboard and paste it into your stream key. Now your video settings, you're going to want to get it from OBS. Now there's a way that you can stream to Instagram and um, make your video resolution a little bit different, but I want everything to come from OBS. So my frame rate, my scenes, my resolution, all of that is coming from OBS. Same thing for my audio. I want it all to go with OBS. Now here's the kicker. Go ahead and make sure you check sync start with OBS. So that way, when you start streaming on YouTube, it'll start streaming on Twitch and then you just press OK and that's how you get started like literally if you press start streaming it will stream um i've actually did this last night and it was amazing and it was perfect so yes 
please leave a like please leave a subscribe your boy is blowing up and you got to be a part of this so yeah also let me know in the comment section if you're going to be using this multi-output situation if you're not multi-streaming that's a problem yes it's, it's kind of a hassle to integrate two audiences but at the same time you're going to need to do that in order to reach different platform the best advice i can give anybody do what you do best if it's twitch that you do best stay on twitch if it's youtube you do best if you do both best do both platforms the sky is the limit and do what you want to do Alrighty, guys thank you guys so much for coming in i'm out of here